and Senator Williams. Thank you, Mr. Acting Deputy President. Mr. Acting Deputy President, last Sunday, week the 14th of February, I was honoured to be asked to represent the government at the opening of the Joan Nicol Tennis Centre at Terranora, adjacent to Tweed Heads. Tennis Terranora started as an intra-club of the Terranora Lakes Country Club way back in 1978, growing to over 400 members, five courts, a clubhouse and a coach. With the unfortunate liquidation of Terranora Lakes Country Club in 1996 and the eventual sale of that, that club's land and buildings, the old tennis club was given notice to vacate. The club re-established as a separate association with about 100 members and renamed Tennis Terranora Incorporated. From 1996 to 2002, the tennis club continued to function using the same complex as before, which was under private ownership and under a week-to-week -week rental arrangement. Through media reports during 2002, members heard that the existing tennis complex would be re redeveloped for other purposes, giving the club an uncertain future. Mr Acting Deputy President, in November 2002, Tennis Terranora set up a committee of eight members to oversee the relocation of the club to new premises and it was clear a new home was needed. Funding was sought and the club itself raised over $50,000, but in May 2005, Tweed Shire, a great supporter, was placed into administration. In the next four years, Arkansas Park at Tweed Heads was recommended as the venue for a regional tennis centre and initially Tennis Terranora was keen to relocate to the new centre, but then they found the delay would be far too long and they were under pressure to vacate their existing site. Stage one of the Arkansas Park Sports Complex was opened in May last year. In late 2009, the council made an offer to Tennis Terranora to take up a site at Henry Lawson Drive and shortly after the council said it would contribute the developers $145,000 towards the clubhouse amenities. Originally, this $145,000 was for a separate amenities block. Thus began a long process of DAs and approvals with club members rallying to help. The first site was turned in August 2013 and then began a program of earthworks, laying of asphalt, fencing and painting and construction of the clubhouse. The Nationals candidate for Richmond at the last federal election, Matthew Fraser, made an election commitment of $250,000 and it was duly delivered as well as $30,000 from the New South Wales government, and it was good to have my national state colleague and the member for Tweed, Jeff Provis, with us. $50,000 from Tennis Australia and Ken Laffey, who represented Tennis Australia at the opening, as well as $145,000 from the Tweed Shire Council, led by Councillor Katie Mill, plus a couple of loans. What struck me, Mr Acting Deputy President, at the opening was the in-kind support Tennis Terranora received. It seems every husband, wife, brother and sister roll their sleeves up to dig a hole, use a paintbrush, lay some tiles or plant a shrub. Many put their hand in their pocket to pay for some of these. A conservative $255,000 worth of in-kind support from individuals and businesses resulted in a magnificent complex of five tennis courts, state-of-the-art club rooms, an amenities block and lighting fixtures. The longer-term goal is for more courts to say that Tennis Terranor becomes the headquarters of junior tennis in the Tweed. There are many people who can look back with pride on what they have contributed, but I want to mention a few. South East Exca Excavations, run by Brian and Bruce Turner, who donated $120,000 worth of civil works, fencing materials and soil. Mr Acting Deputy President, the President, Rob Neenhouse, who has been a tenacious leader, organiser and contributor in his own right, and who will be knocking on doors again shortly looking for assistance for the next stage. And the lady, of the, of the after, the, and the lady after whom the Joan Nicol Tennis Centre is named, of course, Joan Nicol played in two Australian Open tournaments, as well as Wimbledon, and has won titles in Denmark, Spain, England and Fiji. Joan has recently retired after 30 years of dedicating her time and highly regarded skills to coach the junior tennis stars. Thank you to the members of the Tennis of Tarana Terranora for your warm welcome and hospitality, but more importantly for rolling your sleeves up and never giving up. As I said to the Mr Acting Deputy President, persistence is, is the answer, answer to success. The community has worked hard, they have a wonderful facility, and to Joan Nicol a great legacy for her years of contribution, her, her, her expertise and talent and her coaching for the young ones, and I wish them all the best for the future. 
Thank you, Senator Williams.